the unfinished obelisk in Aswan weighs 1,168 tons, which is a remarkable feat in itself. What's also amazing is the fact that many of the stones, the casing stones of two of the pyramids on the Giza Plateau, actually came from Aswan. Uh, we travelled all the way up the Nile, several hundred miles, uh, and they cased two of the pyramids, not the Great Pyramid, the other two pyramids. Um, with these particular stones, they're polygonal style, and uh, they're just an incredible sight to behold. So we can see that there's red and black granite on this pyramid, not just red granite as I originally thought. So it's like a combination. I believe this was part of the original construction, and not a later addition. It seems to like it must have gone quite far up and it's just toppled know, down no some cataclysmic I, I event. There are many other sites all over Egypt that do come from Aswan Quarry. You can just say, like, see this huge block here and you can just see the length of this. It's been precision carved. Whether it was done with these diorite balls, we're really not sure about, but um, there's a lot more uh, granite across Egypt than just this. It looks like this quarry that they've just scooped out the rock really perfectly, just almost like it's ice cream or butter. And they've just removed it as though it's an extremely easy process for them. And they've left a mark here with some hieroglyphics on, which are fascinating. I wonder what that says and who could have done this. These are the dolerite balls that are said to have uh, chipped away and kind of created um, all these obelisks and other things here as one quarry, but it doesn't really make sense. I mean, maybe they, as Marcus Allen points out, uh, they were used for rolling the stones on. No way that's uh, just dolerite blocks doing that. That's some kind of machinery, it looks like. <laughs> Anyway, Aswan Quarry is an amazing place. Um, there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye because of so much stone that's been taken to all these various other places, often hundreds of miles away. There are geodetic connections between this, this site and uh, the Giza pyramids um, because there's a 365.4 mile length between them, which uh, basically marks out the, the days of the year so it's just the tip of the iceberg you can check out a full analysis uh, an article I did on this on ancient-origins.net